Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome back to your Life with Little Ones channel. And in our today's video, I'm going to share about how do I detox my child from screen time. Research says that excessive media use leads to difficulty in school, obesity, and sleep disorders. In this video, we will reveal to you how you can win your child away from technology. Today, we see most parents taking the easy way out and letting their kids remain glued to the television or mobile. This seems to be trend even with infants. More and more, parents are exposing even babies to technology even before they can walk or talk. This is very unhealthy and it can affect the child's health in the long run. Screens are everywhere we look. We use them for keeping in touch with friends and family, shopping, playing games, and reading the latest in news and entertainment. Many kids also use them in school. All of this may leave us wondering how much screen time is too much for our kids. So, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, children under 2 must have zero exposure to screens of any kind, smartphones, tablets, computers, television. It also says that children over 2 be allowed no more than 1 or 2 hours of screen time per day. Excessive media use leads to difficulty in school, obesity, and sleep disorders. Yet, a common complaint among parents is all my kids want to do is sit in front of their TV, iPad, or cell phone all day. So, what can you do? Here are ways to limit screen time and keep your child and you happy and healthy. Number 1. Set an example. The best way to educate your child is to be a role model. Your baby looks up to you. If you are glued to your smartphone, he will also see nothing wrong in doing so. Therefore, you need to take a break from technology when you are with your kid. And also, Talk to them about how you use your phone for work. Show them how important it is for professional life. He will soon get the message that this is not something he needs to mess with. Down to number 2, limit screen time. This may be difficult if you have inculcated the habit of letting your child eat in front of the TV or phone, but it is not impossible. Set some limit as to how much screen time your child can have and stick to it. Your baby will probably throw tantrums for a day or two, but he will soon get a message when you don't give in. And never ever give your child the password to your phone or laptop. Number 3. Distract him or her with other activities. Read to your child, go for a walk, Take to the park. All this will distract him from technology and also give him a rich growing up experience. Number 4. He spend quiet time outside. Electronic games and educational TV shows can exercise the brain, but they can also overstimulate it. And by spending time with the sights and sounds of nature instead, your child can peacefully engage their brain. Make a habit of taking a daily or weekly walk around your neighborhood or visit a lake or a state park and go hiking. Number 5. Keep screens out of the bedroom. Screens should be kept after the bedroom throughout the year, even over the summer and on school breaks when there's temptation to let some rules loosen up. Getting regular quality sleep is important to your child's mental and physical health and development. And research shows that the presence of a TV or a small screen in the bedroom can cause shorter and less restful sleep. That is why young children should not have tablets, cell phones, or TVs in their bedrooms and it is never too late to place those rules on older children and teenagers. In today's world, it is important to introduce our kids to these fun and new technologies, but 
we need to make sure that they are not becoming dependent on screens to manage behavior because even though apps and the internet promise to provide educational games and resources, there is little evidence that they actually help a young child's cognitive development. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day everyone. Thank you and hope to see you on my next video.